you know, sometimes it seems that we don't have a legal system that's targeted at justice, but rather one that's targeted at just us. That is normal Americans, conservative Americans. Are there two legal systems? It's hard to deny there are, but there's good news. And his name is Attorney General William Barr. This is Take That with Kurt Schlichter. If you're into that weird thing called justice, you were really excited to see Attorney General Barr getting out there in front of Congress this week, saying the very thing that the elite didn't want to hear. That is, you're going to be held accountable. You're going to be held accountable for spying on the administration. You're going to be held accountable for lying to Congress. You're going to be held accountable. Now, for so long, we hadn't seen that. We'd seen these members of the ruling class, these people doing the bidding of our liberal overlords, getting away with felonies, left and right, in our faces. Look at the IRS scandal. Did anyone get prosecuted there? Nope. Heck, let's go back to 2008, when the whole economy almost collapsed. Did anybody get prosecuted there? Nobody you ever heard of. Instead, they got handed a bunch of our money to make good on their losses. And, and, and it's gone on. Look at Hillary Clinton. Look, it is a indisputable fact that if any of us had done one one hundredth of what James Comey laid out Hillary Clinton did with classified material, and I held a top secret clearance, and a lot of you guys are ex-military too, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, if we had done that, we would be in jail. That is not subject to dispute. That is not a matter of opinion. That is a fact. And of course, Jim Comey uh, extended uh, you know, Her Majesty professional courtesy. She was a key member of the elite, and she got to walk. She got to walk where we have been prosecuted, and we've seen it too. How about Clapper? How about Brennan? How about Comey himself? You know, it's been a year since Andrew McCabe was referred for prosecution for lying through his teeth to Congress. A year ago. Has he been prosecuted? Nope, not yet. Not at all. Now, did they wait a, a, a year to prosecute uh, uh, Mike Flynn? Heck, they barely waited until the FBI agents got back from interviewing with the White House. Uh, uh, an interview where they came out saying, I don't think he lied. Oh, no, 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 he lied. Let's prosecute him. Let's get a plea. Let's do all this stuff. It's garbage. You cannot have a republic with a dual track justice system. That is not a republic. It's a banana republic. It's a dictatorship. It is in sustain unsustainable and it is unacceptable but that's what we seem to have here now that's why what the attorney general is doing is so revolutionary he's actually gone and said wait a minute this can't happen we can't allow this to continue this is not acceptable and he's going to look into it now i know years ago that uh what's his name huber uh, yeah, the IG, they're, they're going to look into this stuff. They're going to totally look into this stuff. But um, they, they, they seem to keep looking. I mean, the IG had a little interim report. He found all sorts of problems. Did anyone go to jail? No. Do, do you think if you or I was the subject of one of those reports, do you think they would have waited to prosecute us? Really? Well, meet my friend Chet. He's my pet unicorn. That's crazy talk. Look, our, 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 our justice system is foundational to a republic. Everybody must be equal before the law. We're not asking for special favors. We're not asking for any dispensation or indulgence. We are simply asking that everybody be treated the same. And you know, there was a time when our elite, when our ruling class was held to a higher standard. After all, there are moral betters, aren't they? They're supposed to be the example. They're supposed to supposed to set the you know set the standard for us. And yet they are measurably worse in every way. To the extent they're not outright liars, they're moral illiterates. And you know they're just walking free. James Comey's walking through the redwoods. Brennan's out on uh, CNN with the conspiracy nuts. Hillary Clinton's on another thing with her screw top Trader Joe Chardonnay getting plowed in the, uh, the upstate New York forests. They're all free. They're all cool. We wouldn't be. You can't have that. It doesn't work. A free society 
depends on everybody being equal before the law. That's why, you know, when you have Lady Justice, she's got a sword, she's got the scales, and she's got a blindfold so she can't see who's in front of her. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. Because our justice system, until now, until this, this, this tiny glimmer of hope that the Attorney General has presented by, by promising accountability, for so long we have seen that it's, it, 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 it's just a tool. It's a tool for the ruling class to suppress us. Gosh, I sound like a Marxist. It's crazy talk. And yet it's true. It's true. Tell me it's not. Tell me you wouldn't have been treated, or t tell, me, tell me you would have been treated like Hillary Clinton, or Brennan, or Clapper, or Comey, or McCabe, or uh, Lois Lerner, or any of the others, if you had done what they did. Of course, you didn't. You obey the laws like a sucker, because you believe they're fair. You believe they're evenly applied. You believe that everyone's equal in front of the law. Well, you know, everybody should be. And we can't back off, not for a second from that standard. We're not asking to change the rules. We're asking, well, I'm not, we're not asking anything. We're demanding they be changed back. This is Take That with Kurt Schlichter. Hey, if you like what you see here, every Tuesday and Friday outside the paywall, come on in, be a part of the magic. Get inside the rebel paywall. There's all sorts of great stuff. While you're here, uh, there's a bullhorn over there. I want you to hit that. There's a Facebook thing and a Twitter thing. I want you to hit them too. Make a stand for freedom because that's what you're doing when you join with the Rebel. If you like what I'm doing, I do my town hall thing every Monday and Thursday. You can find it on townhall.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Kurt Schlichter. I tweet every once in a while. And you should check out my books, Militant Normals, that's nonfiction, and Wildfire, it's my latest, uh, latest novel of America Split Apart. The others are Indian Country and People's Republic. Bill Crystal hailed them as appalling, so you know they're good. I'll see you next time here on Take That with Kurt Schlichter.